Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Devolver Digital Zone, Nia Struthers. Come on, you are professional journalists. I'd like to thank you for joining me here at the Dave Lang Memorial Convention Center. Thank you. This is our first year of bringing you to the very edge of your seats with the very best of what video, very games have to offer. Very, and I am very, very proud to have you here on this very journey with me. Tonight, tonight is going to be a special one. I have got a lot to show you. I have got a lot to tell you about, much of which will blow your mind up, some of which will frighten your extended family a little, a small amount of which will get some of you arrested, possibly even slightly aroused, all of which is designed to subtly convince you to give us your hard-earned money. I hope you are ready for the future of video games and the future's future future. Tomorrow's unethical business practices today. Check a look. I bet you want that game. I bet you want to buy that game. You will buy that game. I believe in you. Buy that motherfucking game. You'd, you'd tell me, Nina, early access has been a powerful tool for developers and fans alike for years. You'd tell me that with your dumb little mouth and I'd knuckle punch you right in your goddamn throat because ladies and gentlemen, we have something even better than that. We are calling it Devolver Digital Earliest Access. And we think... It will be a revolutionary way to hastily rush unfinished game content out to consumers. A developer thinks an idea, and bam, that shit's available for sale. Sound far-fetched? Wrong. Clamp your gob, you fucking moron. I have got something that I think is a real kick in the nuts. There was a way for you the unwashed masses, not only to complain about the games you love, but to complain about them so effectively that it evoked real, actual change. Badass, right? The baddest. Shut up, Madge. Devolver, comment-created content is the next evolution in user-created content. It will make changes and modifications in real time by pulling any half-assed comment, recommendation, or criticism directly from the game's own user forums. What we believe is the future's future future. Shut your mouth, you miserable piece of human garbage. And shit! Let's get this nonsense started. Some of you had some proper shit to say about our press conference last year. You should buy it. It is going to make us huge numbers. It's probably pretty great, but I won't know because I do not play any of this garbage. Roll the garbage. Go to scumgame.com for more information or don't. I get paid either way. Loot boxes have made headlines over the past year and you the moronic gobbling maw of consumer idiocy that you are have shown little to no regret in just plain dumping your money into this deeply insulting monetization model. It seems we have seen cryptocurrencies roll in and jack punch the global socioeconomic landscape right in the sweetness, creating an entirely new culture of massively unqualified financial experts with absolutely no idea what the shit they are talking about. If there is one thing at Devolver Digital that we love, it is talking confidently about important issues we are completely ignorant about and then fleecing fat stacks of cash out of an uninformed marketplace that really should know better. One of our hastily trained economists will create and send you an actual physical loot box coin just like the one I am holding right here in my motherfucking hand. What is it worth? I don't know. What can you buy with it? Probably nothing. Does the U.S. government consider it a form of gambling? Fuck if I care. Well, go fire up a browser and check it out. <laughs> we have a game 
that some of you may have seen on the socials via hilariously violent gifts from developer Dead Toast. It's pronounced and GIFs. <laughs> Pardon me? Yeah, GIFs. You say GIFs. It's an acronym. Acronym's pronunciation is determined by the creator of the said acronym, like a proper name. In this case, the creator of the graphics interchange format, Steve Wilhite, says it's GIFs. Choosy developers choose GIFs. <laughs> Anyway, here's my friend Pedro. The past few years, we have seen a new trend in gaming hardware. Companies reaching deep into their back catalogs to construct cute as fuck little miniature fun size versions of their legacy hardware overflowing with classic games of yesteryear asking you to pay a ridiculous premium for games that you owned 20 years ago and will be utterly disappointed by playing again today somehow you all are buying these things up in mass. You are paying triple sticker price to some creep selling them out of the back of his car next to a dumpster out behind Taco Bell and not the nice Taco Bell, but the sketchy one that sells fried chicken and pizza and always smells faintly of a mop bucket filled with purple drink and puke. You love these little nostalgic cash grabs and we have no fucking idea why but who are we to pass up on this unique opportunity to separate you from your money margaret whoa 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 whoa, whoa. hey hey whoa hey 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 hey, hey. stop stop our last game. Holy fucking shit. May I present to you from Software's 2004 Masterclass in Democratic Mech Warfare, Metal Wolf Chaos! games this year already and we at Devolver simply can't wait to show you what our video game developer friends have been video game developing this year in video games. It's been an amazing year and a fantastic video game year for all the- Yeah, no, that's not a thing. Okay, Fall Guys look sick. It's gonna pull in loads. I'm gonna be ri rich. Why, yes. Yes, I am. Okay, so I can't say fuck anymore. Whoa! Whoa, just send it! Ha <laughs> ha! Fudge you! Wait, no. And fulfill our ultimate destiny.